So hey guys, every now and then a new watch comes out that catches my eye. The last smartwatch though that really got me excited was back in 2012 with the Pebble. The Apple Watch, the Samsung Galaxy Watch, none of these have the battery life that I really want. Two or three days is not convenient enough for me. They also don't have a design that I really want. Like I like a classic look and a digital display really does not meet my needs. However, Fossil this last week released a new smartwatch. It's a hybrid smartwatch with an e-ink display and physical watch ends that I think nails the perfect balance between classic and modern. This new series is called the Collider series. There's several versions for both men and women. In this particular review, I'll be looking at the FTW7008. This version differs from the others as it has more of a beige brown e-ink display while the others are more black and white. I should note though that in person, the watch does not look as brown as it does in those online photos. Some of the core features of this watch include heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, remote music control, rapid one hour charging, two week battery life, a customizable watch face, and the ability to ring your phone remotely. So when we open the box, we are greeted with a way to return the watch if needed. We also have the watch and it is shrink wrapped. Of course, this watch works with Android 5.0 and iOS 10 or newer. There's a quick start guide and a, what seems to be a warranty manual. There's also a charger and the watch itself. The watch has a strap width of 22 millimeters, which is fairly standard and my preferred width for the men's watch. There's also a woman's version that has a smaller strap width. The watch strap is made of genuine leather. It feels fairly rugged, like it will withstand quite a bit of use. Doesn't feel as luxurious as perhaps a high grade leather watch, but it, this does still feel quite comfortable. And I do feel like it is of high quality. There's a quick release bar so you can change straps very easily. And it's universally compatible with virtually any other 22 millimeter strap out there. My wrists are six and a half inch circumference and I'm dead center with the strap length. So there's lots of room for both big and small wrists. The watch is 13 millimeters in thickness, which is a little bit high. I would prefer to see it closer to 11 millimeters, but the added thickness is due to this heart reading sensor, heart rate reading sensor, which seems to add a couple of millimeters on to the overall thickness. I believe the front glass is made of a mineral glass. It has not scratched yet. It does not feel like plastic but I don't see any mention of it being sapphire. So I'm going to assume it's just a mineral glass. The case is made of stainless steel and that's pretty standard. Now the watch does come with a charger, which attaches magnetically. The watch was charged at around 73% when I got it. And after the course of three days of use, I saw about 5% per day of battery drop. That will vary depending on your use, but I'm fairly moderate to light on my usage of the, of the watch. Setting up the watch the first time you have to install the Fossil app and then you pair the watch. It's fairly easy to do so. Now Fossil will try to get a lot of personal information from you, weight, age, height, name, either Gmail or Facebook login. And all that, I guess, is tied to the fitness information, monitoring your health and physical out calories and other aspects. Uh, the process was fairly easy to set up though. I had no problems connecting or pairing with the phone, with the watch. It was very smooth. You can customize the watch with different watch faces. I personally preferred one of the more complex watch faces. I just thought it suited a chronograph style best. I did find that the font on the watch was very hard to read indoors. Outdoors it's a little easier, but indoors, especially under dim lighting, it was a little bit hard to read all the information provided and there was no way to increase it. You can customize quite a lot though 
there's information such as heart rate and weather that you can have always appearing on the front of the watch. You can also set up notifications though that will be triggered from popular apps, so email, Instagram, Twitter, SMS, and all that information will show up on the watch within a few milliseconds essentially once the phone gets the same notification. So your phone might buzz and then your watch will buzz a split second later when you get a new email, for example. The watch can connect to Apple Health, Google Health, Under Armour, and the information that is transferred over to those apps is about the same that you would see in the Fossil app. So you can consolidate all your health information to Google Health or Apple Health, it seems, and not rely on the Fossil app for that information, but it's pretty a pretty good way to do so. You can check your heart rate on the watch at any time using the menu, but it does automatically check your heart rate on its own every few moments, it seems. Double tapping the watch will let you get the backlight. It does not always register though. Navigating the menu, you there is no touch interface, so you only have the three buttons to interact with. There's up, down, and OK. And using those three buttons, you need to navigate everything. I did notice that the heart rate sensor glows green, and it can be a little distracting as it checks repeatedly throughout the day, as that green light can flicker and catch your eye while you're walking or working. But it overall is not too bothersome. I find the watch very attractive and of my watch collection of seven or eight watches, I've been told it is the most attractive one I've, I own at the moment, which is quite the compliment because I actually really like some of my other watches. The Fossil app is quite nice. It runs very smooth and I think they spent a lot of time making the user interface and user experience top notch. You can see your sleep information, and I found that it got my sleeping data fairly accurate. And when it comes to heart rate, I'm not quite so sure how accurate it is. It seems to be a little more erratic, but it does seem to get a ballpark measurement at least. It also will try to track your steps and your calorie count. Again, I'm not quite sure how accurate that is, but it does seem to know when I'm moving around. Uh, so this is also just what the Google screens look like, and it shows the heart rate and other information there as well. Some of the downsides has no GPS. The double tap does not always work, so it does sometimes take a few tries for it to actually work. Navigating the menu, it took me about 30-40 minutes to figure out how to navigate the menu effectively. That said, it's still a water resistant rating of three ATMs, which is about 30 feet. That is essentially the lowest water resistant rating you can give a watch. And that only qualifies it as a splash proof or splash resistant watch. So you should not get water on this watch whatsoever. And that makes me concerned about taking this watch to the gym. The font size on this watch is fairly small. I don't have 2020 vision, but I also don't yet need to wear glasses. However, I do need to bring the watch closer to my face than I would prefer to see the finer information that's on the watch face. I do wish there was a way to increase the font size on the watch face, but say la vie. Outside, it's fairly easy to read, but indoors, because the e-ink display is not the most high contrast thing in the world, it is a little bit harder to read. On a positive note, the watch is actually surprisingly light. So I, I do find it quite enjoyable and pleasant to wear. The leather band is quite, quite easy to wear compared to some other leather bands from cheaper watch brands out there. And I do feel like it will last quite a long time on that front. I am a big fan of the 22 millimeter strap size. That is my preferred strap size. So I'm very grateful there. And I also find that the brown tone of the e-ink is quite 
pleasant. It matches my skin tone very nicely. And finally, price $195 to start for these new Fossil Hybrid watches compared to maybe an older Apple Watch 3 that you might be able to get for as low as $129 US on sale like Black Friday. I can't think of any Android compatible watch, smartwatch, that I would want more than this particular Fossil Hybrid watch. It's elegant, it has two weeks of battery life, and on that alone, I think it's an easy sell. That said, it doesn't have GPS. It's missing quite a few other features that more full-functioned smartwatches have. So it may not be for everyone, especially if you have bad eyesight. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I would love to hear your feedback and comments below. Leave them there. Subscribe. Take care.